about the concept and the instruction. Previously, we have discussed about the data or transfer instructions, and we have discussed about the arithmetic law instructions, and we have also discussed about bit manipulation, string instruction, program execution instructions. So these instructions are performed for a particular specific uh, types of operations to be performed, right? So same wise here we have the control instructions. So these instructions are used to control the process action by setting or reset. Either it should set or the it should clear reset. So we have either set ST or clear that is CA. So the uh, under this group we have certain instructions like STC as I told earlier. ST stands for set and CA stands for clear. So STC means used to set the carry flag to 1. CLC means used to clear or raise the carry flag to 0. CMC it is used to put complement of the state of carry flag. It is complement. CM stands for complement. STD that is set the direction flag to 1. CLD means set the or reset the direction flag to 0. And STI used to set the interf enable flag to 1, that is enable INTR. CLI stands to clear the interf enable flag to 0, so disable the INTR input. So either we have yes or we have C, that is set or reset. Set or reset, that is clear. So we have STC, CLC, STD, CLD, STL, CLI. Either carry flag, direction flag, or inter enable flag. So, apart from this, we have iteration control instructions. So what is this iteration control? Is it is used to execute the given instruction for a number of times following its list of instructions under the group. For example, first is loop, used to loop a group of instructions until the condition satisfies, that is, cx is equal to zero. Next is loop p or loop z. Used to loop a group of instructions till it satisfies. That is, when you only have to satisfy z is equal to 1 and cx is equal to 0. Till the condition is satisfied, it will be continuing the instructions. Next, loop ne, nez. What is this loop ne, nez? It is till it satisfies the condition zf is equal to that is 0 flag is equal to 0. Carry flag should be is equal to 0. JCX is it that is used to jump to the provider address if CX is equal to 0. So iteration is nothing but the iteration should be continuing until the specified condition. So I have given the specified conditions here. You can see the loop operations here. So apart from this, we also have the last one that is iteration instruction. What is the instruction is? used to call the interrupt during the program execution that is int used to interrupt the program during the execution and calling the service specified so int is we know that is int is interrupt right so used to interrupt the program during the execution and calling service specified int o what is this o stands for this if the o f power of your flag is equal to one the interrupt this uh, type of uh, execution can be called out. So, we used to interrupt the program during the execution if overflow flag is equal to 1. So, next one is IRET used to return interrupt service to the main program. IRT stands for interrupt service to the program. So, uh, summarize all the instructions. First of all, we have data transfer instruction where we can uh, do the transfer function from word to word, byte to byte, etc. And shifting and moving and pushing, every operation will be included there. After that, we have the arithmetic operations where we can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Apart from that, we have the bit manipulation. So, in bit formation, we have two types one is for logical and another is for shifting operations. So, apart from the bit manipulation, we came for the string manipulation where we perform the operations over the strings. And after the stream, we have discussed about the program execution that is called loop instructions. So in loop instructions also, we have certain conditions and uh, we have seen that. And uh, control instructions, we have two one that is processor control and iteration control. Under the processor control, we have one two operations that is setting and resetting. There is set and clear. In iteration control, we have loop, um, loop conditions for the iteration to satisfy the specific uh, conditions uh, like zero flag, etc.
last one is interrupt of instructions these instructions are used to call if the interrupt during the program execution is completed so int intu 